So is the stock market going to get worse? A question that a lot of people are asking right now. What's going on team? It's Ricky with Tackle Solutions. Hope that you guys are all having an amazing day. One of the things that I quickly want to chat about um, is what's going on with the market? Why is it selling off? If you guys watched today's earlier video, uh, I don't want to say we call it out, right? Because I don't do call outs. Yes, we you know, title our thumbnails a specific way, uh, but we had an expectation of the market, right? For the past week, the market's been getting rejected by the moving average. This is TQQQ. It's the NASDAQ bull ETF. With that being said, we're making lower highs, lower lows. We continued and continue to get rejection, uh, rejected. Uh, it doesn't surprise me that after yesterday's performance, right? And I made a video yesterday. I, I tried to make you aware of like, hey, let's, let's humble one another when the market has that big of a green day. The market had a 7% green day yesterday uh, for TQQQ. Does it surprise me that it pulled on back? No, I mean, I traded TQQQ yesterday. I locked in profits. Everyone was asking why. Um, I just was uncertain. I was uncertain because of the overall direction was not in our favor. I wanted to wait for confirmation. That's me being conservative. You don't need to you know, follow in my same footsteps, but I've been burned enough that I would rather miss out on something than actually take a loss right so with that being said i tried to play it a little bit safe uh during today's live trading session i had a small position in sqqq small is relative to the position that i'm trading with um uh, little disclosure the sixteen thousand dollar day or gain on sqqq i trade with over three hundred thousand dollars so it's about a 4.5 4.7 percent gain sqqq ga uh, gained 6.8 percent so in no way was my trading perfect. No way did I make every percentage. You know, my job is not to be perfect. There's there's like no way I will ever have a perfect trade, right? My job is to enter when direction's in my favor, step on the gas when we're seeing that momentum and to never be afraid to lock in profits. Not only did we sell the highs, we anticipated the pullback, um, you know, bought in on this reversal and we called it all out within today's um, not only live trading session, but also within our Learn Plan Profit Discord group. Uh, why is it that this is happening, right? A lot of you guys should be aware of this, but um, the market as of right now is going through its um, earnings season, right? So we talked about Q1 earnings, right? Uh, they were absolutely trash for Q1 of 2022. And it's been a concern that a lot of people have had is like, you know, okay, well, we had a horrible Q1. You know, expectations were high for Q2. I think that was what was factored into the market yesterday. People thought that, you know, as airlines reported positive earnings, this got everyone very hyped up. Banks reported earnings today. It wasn't horrible. Uh, they were in the green, but it definitely was not, I think, what a lot of people anticipated. Uh, if you guys don't know about this um, on the Webull uh, trading app, you guys can actually download Webull. Uh, it's the first link in the description. It's free. You guys can use my link. If you guys don't use my link, I don't care, uh, but you do get a sign up bonus if you use my link. Just letting you know. First link down below. With that being said, under this earnings calendar, you can look you can select a date, right? If you want to select just on the 14th, what earnings, uh, what stocks reported earnings today? You can look at the 18th, the 19th, the 20th. I mean, you can look at what companies are set to report earnings. An example is that Netflix is about to report earnings on the 19th, if I'm not mistaken. Netflix has been doing absolute trash, right? Surprise, surprise, it probably is going to do trash once again, right? Um, there's so many companies that are going to be reporting earnings this upcoming week and the week that follows that yes, earnings do influence the overall market, not just earnings when they actually report, but actual expectation gets factored in right away. That's the world that we live in. Uh, I wanted to share one of two things with you. People continue to cl co uh, complain about like, oh my God, this market's so indecisive. It's so, oh, blah, blah, blah. you know, if, if the market is so choppy here, here's, here's something that you can do. If the market direction is unclear, which it's not really, I mean, it's selling off, right? But let's say that it's unclear. Don't trade it, right? Or trade it with a dollar amount that you can tolerate, that you don't just think that, hey, things have to go up, but that you go in with a dollar amount and an intent that like, hey, I'm gonna put this money, I don't expect it to recover right away. I know things are gonna get choppy and that's why I'm only lightly invested. Maybe when things begin to become a little bit more clear, you can revisit this and actually double down on it or invest into it a little bit more aggressively. But you are correct. If things are choppy, if you feel unsure of what's going on, Either don't trade at all or manage your position size because that's probably what is causing all of this, you know, uh, madness of emotion. And I'm not just calling you out. I mean, I make this mistake all the time. Like I said, 
I'm not perfect. Let's talk about it. Why not have these open-ended conversations? I, I love having these conversations with our traders. Um, and I, I think it's super important for you to understand that it is what was factored into the market yesterday, right? And then based off of what was actually presented today with earnings and then future expectations of earnings, it's just not looking too good, right? So we had COVID, right? That obviously was a negative influence. We had inflation, we had interest rates, we had Russia attack uh, Ukraine, we have oil prices, and now a, a relevant negative influence is potentially earnings. But let's be honest, right? If these companies, especially tech stocks, begin to report earnings that exceed expectation, we could see the market begin to rise. So today was just a rough day for the market. Banks uh, did not meet, I don't think, exceeded expectation to that degree. It really brought down the market. Um, and it wasn't just you, right? That's one, one thing that I want you to understand is that it wasn't just you. It wasn't just your long-term investments that dropped today. It was the entire market. So you're not alone with this. I don't ever want you to feel like you're alone. Um, I'm very grateful for the way that today played out. Um, I closed out my entire position except for one share. But Ricky, what if the market continues to drop? Don't you want to make money? Of course, I, I would love to make more money as the market sells off and I can go into SQQQ. For those that don't know, SQQQ goes up when the NASDAQ market goes down. It's pretty much like shorting the market, but you're doing it with a triple leverage ETF. Um, I don't know if the markets, you know, it's a three day weekend, markets close tomorrow. I don't know if the market's going to continue to drop. I'm not here to predict the future. I'm here to prepare for it. I would rather wake up Monday morning during the pre market session with my Learn Plan Profit team and ask ourselves, hey, which way is the market going? And then trade, right? I would rather make informed decisions versus hopeful decisions. And that's what I'm here to encourage you to do. I don't know if you resonate well with my trading style, with my the way that I express myself, the way that I try to encourage you to be the best version for yourself, not for me and not for others. But I need you to understand that, that you're not going to be perfect, especially when you're just getting started. It's going to take time. Yes, it is challenging and there's a lot to learn. But I think that's what's most exciting about this is that don't the most challenging things follow with the most fulfillment when you overcome them, right? So let's embrace this challenge, right? Uh, so I'm really excited uh, to follow up with you guys on Monday. Just a little heads up for all of our Learn Plan Profit members. Tomorrow at my uh, TechBuds Trading HQ, so that's my office space, uh, I'm going to be hosting an in-person uh, session and we're going to be talking about position size. How much does this in-person session cost? It's free. It's free for all of our Learn Plan Profit members. So if you're in Arizona, it's located in Chandler, Arizona, and it's going to be at 12.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, well, Arizona, right, in Chandler, Arizona. Uh, the information will be down below. So if you guys want to join us, again, we are running a sell today. You guys don't have to, and please don't join just for that, uh, but it is an incentive. Uh, it's $100 off, Learn Plan Profit. They're the team that gets to watch me trade live every day. They get access to the A to Z video lesson library. They get access to our private group chat, and they get access to my HQ Monday through Friday. It is all-inclusive, a one-time payment, and a lifetime access pretty great, right? And today it's $100 off. So if you guys want to sign up, that's going to be one of the links in the description. It will clearly say $100 off Learn Plan Profit 2.0. And hopefully I see some of you guys uh, tomorrow during our in-person session, uh, especially if you've been struggling with position size. I think it's something worth learning more about. And it's one of the main things that led to my success today, uh, being effective and knowing when to step on the gas. So I appreciate you guys' time. Hope that I earned a thumbs up. Wish you guys nothing but the best. Again, let our green days uh, or in our green days, we prepare for our red days. And on our red days, we prepare for the green days. So uh, very excited to follow up with you guys. Take care, team.